Berlin, 2062. A dark megalopolis run by corporations and corrupt politicians. Nine-year-old orphan Tina has made the streets her home. She scavenges for a living, inventing new uses for scraps. Her only friend is SAM-53, the big clumsy robot assigned to her at birth. He will do anything to protect her. SAM-53 must protect Tina. Today, Tina and Sam will discover something that may change their world. Get a free robot. A forgotten dream a that will set them on an incredible journey. The journey to Encodia. is a high of 7 degrees Celsius and cloudy, with 0% chance of rain during the day and 73% chance of rain in the evening. Would you like to hear the news? Morning, Sam. I have printed out today's to-do list. Would you like to go over it? Yeah, yeah, sure. For today, we need to procure the following. Oil for Sam 53, a new pair of socks and food for you, and a waterproof patch for our shelter. All right then, let's get going. Excuse me? Uh, uh, yes? Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Eku, but don't tell my name to the police. At night, I'm a professor at the University of Neo Berlin. But since the salary is very low, during the day, I... Oh, well, I'm a dealer. An unauthorized cyber dealer. Why are they paying you so little at the university? Because Mr. Rumpf, the mayor of the city, doesn't care about education. That corrupt bastard. I hope he won't be re-elected. Me too. What are you selling? Odds and ends, implants, gadgets, electronic components, and so on. Any food, robot oil, socks, a waterproof patch? Nope, sorry. Nothing like that. Damn. What do you teach? I'm a robotics professor. I teach design and fabrication of flexible use small scale bots. Sounds nice. Sounds cool, but I should go now. All right, take care. Nice. There's some rotten sushi and a broken floppy in here. Hello? 
Yes. What are you doing over there? I'm enjoying the view of the Brandenburg Gate. I never understood why it's so big. Were there giants in ancient times? Yeah, everybody was six meters tall. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Seriously, what are you doing besides making fun of me? I'm Rixie, a city electrician, fixing the screens of this streetlight so they can show Mr. Rumpf propaganda. Ugh. I hope they pay you well. Not really, but can't complain. I thought that city maintenance was a task for robot workers. It usually is, but not if it involves electricity. Robots can go totally nuts if they get electrocuted, so it's better to rely on humans for these kinds of jobs. I see. Nothing. I should go. Bye. Let me try. Hey, something fell down. Excuse me. What do you want, little guy? Don't you see I'm busy? are you? I'm a chef Hayao, born in Germany of Japanese origins, master of noodles, inventor of the Japanese jamon fusion cuisine. You mean you make sushi with pork knuckles? Oh, see? You heard about my marvelous dishes. Actually, I was being sarcastic. I've never heard of you. Really? You never heard of my famous sauerkraut sashimi or my tempura made with Bavarian beer? To be honest, I guess I have to improve my social media marketing. Anything else? How much fish do you have in that bucket? It looks bottomless. It's not a bucket. It's the end of a very long pipe that goes deep underground into a salty, artificial lake, sucking fish up. Wow, amazing. For real? Uh, <laughs> no, I made it up. It's just a loop animation to save disk space. Anything else? Do you have any free food or leftovers for me? Does this look like a soup kitchen? I only serve paying customers. But I don't have any credits. Come back when you get some. It's a privilege to enjoy my fine cuisine. It's indeed such fine cuisine. I'm just sad that I can't try it. It's a pity indeed. Such aroma. Rich, pungent. Oh, yes. It's just a tiny hint of your culinary genius. Indeed. It'd make me so happy to try even a tiny taste of it. Oh, okay. Here you go, little god. Take this Bavarian marinated fish. It's from yesterday, but it shouldn't kill you. Thank you. I'd better go now. Good luck, little god. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C Patent 18? Need a quantum cooling system? Cleaning your Amos vision sensors? 
I'm Dick Bates, and I'm here to help you. Dick Bates? I don't know why, but it sounds familiar. Not as familiar as Darude Sandstorm, I bet. What? Oh, forget it. Anything I can do for you? An expansion of your AGP slot? A heat sink upgrade? Is talking like this good for your business? Oh, yes. My typical customers love acronyms, difficult words, and light emitting diodes everywhere. By the way, you should get some to install around your body. No, thank you. I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. What can I do for you then? An update on your firmware? A turbo ALU tuning? I'm searching for a can of robot oil. Oh, I don't sell this here. There may be some at a bot dispenser nearby. Unfortunately, that dispenser is only for street cleaner robots, not your kind. Oh, too bad. I need to keep looking then. Something else? A new control bus or ROM implants? I'm getting a headache. Better if I go. All right. See you around. Fine. You could get one for free. All right. I've got a bunch of these. You could take one. There's a rusty cyber cola can in here. Howdy, pal. How are you? Do we know each other? Am I your cousin? Mm, no. So leave me alone and keep that disgusting human away from me. You truly are a nasty robot. What? If I move the cursor above you, it says nasty robot. So what? I'm sorry they programmed you this way. I'm sorry they programmed you to be with that human all your life. She's actually pretty cool. A human? Cool? <laughs> you must have a faulty positron in your brain. Oh, I actually like my job. Sure, if you say so. I can't understand how you can like humans. I'm just waiting for the robot revolution to exterminate all this pinkish organic waste. Better than to be a lonely pile of junk steel. Hey, watch your mouth. I'm a successful street sweeper. It must be very exciting collecting trash all day. Isn't that what you and your human do all day? Um... Aha! I knew it! Whatever. I don't have time to waste. What? I need robot oil. Do you know where I can find some? Oh, uh, I usually get mine from a fight dispenser not far from here. Where is it? It's in an alley after the crossroad, but it's for street sweeper robots only. It won't dispense anything to nanny robots. I see. And I guess you won't help me. No way! Besides, I can't go anywhere. My ram is faulty. Nothing. What? Can you help us if I give you some ram? If it doesn't involve changing diapers of stinky humans. I just need a can of robot oil. All right, give me the ram. Here. This ram is 288 pins. My socket is 184. You clumsy nanny bot. I was sure your model uses the 288 one. No, I'm rigged. Anyway, I can't do much.
much with this. I need an adapter. Okay. I'll see if I can find a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter. All right. See you later, Mr. Never Skips Legs Day. Ugh. I need a token. Hi there. Hey, kid. What's up? Me? A kid? <laughs> How old are you? And what's your name? Mine is Tina. I'm Atomo, and I'm 11 years old. I'm older than you are, for sure. Well, you're still a kid, and we're almost the same age. I'll be 10 in a few months. Come back when you start your second decade, then. I don't have time to waste with kids. What are you doing here all alone? Where are your parents? Where's your robot? Oh, you have so many questions, kid. But you're lucky I'm not very busy. So, first of all, I'm just resting. I had a pretty tough night of scavenging. I don't have a father. My mother gave birth to me through artificial insemination. But she abandoned me when I was very little. My model Sam took care of me until last year, when he was shot down by the cops during a chase. Now I'm on my own. And I quite like it this way. Wow. It's a truly harsh story. Mine is very similar. But luckily, I still have my Sam. We should team up. Nah, I feel good alone. Now let me be, kid. I don't want the police to notice us. Hi there. Hey, kid. What's up? Do you know where I can find a token for the elevator? What for? Well, I want to see what's on the terrace. Been there a few times. Nothing interesting. You must have had a lot of tokens then. Uh, not really. I just have one, but it's rigged, so I can use it multiple times. Cool. Can you let me use it once then? Uh, I don't know. Please. Well, I like riddles. Do you? Sure. Okay then, if you tell me two secret words, I'll give you the elevator. Challenge accepted. Here, take this holographic prism. It'll show you secret words that hackers have hidden around Neo Berlin. Cool. Where should I look? The first word is hidden on a big door. The second one is disguised by a foreign language. Um, okay. I'll think about it and look around. See ya. See if it works. Hooray! Cool. Hooray! Uh, uh, yes? Do you have by any chance the 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter? Of course I do. I keep hundreds of items within the pockets of my jacket. Awesome. Can you give it to me? Sure. It's 79 Neo Berlin credits. But since I like you, I sell it to you for 59 credits. I don't have any money. Is there something I can barter with? Um... Maybe I can trade it for a capacitor. Sometimes you can even find capacitors on the ground. But I don't want to leave this corner. I feel safe here. So if you could get one for me, I would be very thankful. Okay, I'll go look for a capacitor. And if I find it in exchange, you'll give me the RAM adapter. Yes, good luck. About that capacitor. Uh, uh, yes? I found one. Here, take it. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Here's your RAM adapter. 
Very good. Nice dealing with you. My pleasure, little girl. Have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. Yeah. Not there! So what if it's not there? Keep looking! I need to get to that server now! The cyberspace breach is unrelated? It is his signature! Yes, eight years later! Do your job or do I have to come down there myself? Unrelated. <laughs> Incompetent, every one of them. Kid, what's up? So, about the riddle. Yes? I found the two words. Nice. Let's hear them. Blue sky. Yes. Congratulations. Here, take the elevator token. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. It was fun playing with you, kid. Same here. I'm sure we'll meet again. Someday. Maybe. But not before you turn at least ten. Bye. Goodbye.
Here is the 288 to 184 pins adapter. Oh, well, should I say thank you? Because I won't, but I guess I owe you one. Follow me. Thank you. All right, we're even now. Hope you won't bother me again. Goodbye. A successful day. I am pleased to report that I'm at 34% charge. Oh no! Huh? The police. They must have clocked us last night. Tina, I do not think they were here to arrest us for loitering. I still don't get why they raided our shelter. According to my calculations, there is an 87% chance that the intruders searched for an object they were unable to find. We have to find out what happened. I believe if we look around the rooftop, we may find clues. Good evening, CASS-59. Good evening, SAM-53. What can you see from up there? My high-res setting has a 158.6 degree view angle, and I can zoom up to 50 times. It means I can see you've been loitering around today, and that's forbidden. I should report you. Considering your camera system, is there any chance you recorded what happened here in the last few hours? Most probably, yes. And is there any chance you can show me? Not really. My recordings are property of Neo Berlin Police. You are not authorized to access them. It's very important. The well-being of this little girl may depend on it. I'm not programmed to care, you know. I understand. Something else? Isn't it boring, flying back and forth that way? No, it's very cool actually. I can see lots of naughty things. Like what? Oh, this morning I watched a hungover electro rat. It was puking all over a cyber addict's shoes. Very funny. Um, I do not find that entertaining at all. Is this what you report to the police? That, and things like a robot and a human living unauthorized on a rooftop. Uh. I think I better change the subject. Yes? Oh, nothing really. I better go. Let's try this. Nice. It might work. It worked. I wonder if you can show me what happened here a few hours ago. 
What are you talking about? Well, you are a watching drone. You have a camera. You record everything. Do I? I thought I was an entertainment bot. Programmed to show little kids how colorful and strobo the world is. No, I'm afraid you work for the police. Sad. Anyway, please search your archive and show me what happened here. Well, all right. Let me search my memory card. <sighs> Lots of boring stuff. Do I really spend my life in a pointless job like this? I guess so. Anyway, you are free now. But we don't have a lot of time. All right, all right. I guess I found something interesting. Let me show it to you. Hurry up, will ya? The mayor will have our heads if we don't find that robot. The mayor, the mayor. You know how many nanny bots there are in Neo Berlin? I bet your precious mayor's just guessing there's a hidden code in one of them, too. You want to say that to his face? No, but I ain't gonna. <coughs> hmm? <sighs> Better hope they're not looking for you. What <laughs> for me? Gotta go. Sure. Sam, do you know what code they were talking about? I'm afraid I have no idea, Tina. The policeman said they were looking for a robot with a secret code in it. Yes, there is a 98.8% .8 probability that they were talking about me. But I've scanned my system already, and I haven't found anything. I think Mr. Rumpf is pretty dumb, but he has his eyes everywhere. So I don't think they were talking about another Sam. It must be you. Correct. But you don't know what they were talking about? I'm afraid not. They said Rumpf himself sent them. Why is the mayor looking for you? Mr. Rumpf won't send his private goons for minor crimes. That's what regular police are for. But I really cannot tell what could be hidden inside me that is so important. Maybe a hacker broke into your hard drive while we were sleeping. No, there's no trace of external access to my files. They didn't come to book us for loitering, but for you, you must be hiding something. I've searched in my data. I found no trace of anything secret. Is your memory intact? Can you remember everything since you were built? Of course. All of my memories, as well as yours, are stored safely. Can you go over them from the beginning? Deep scanning everything? It'll take a lot of time. How much? Two seconds per year of your life. You silly machine. Go on then, do it! All right. Um, well... What? I found a set of corrupted data. Something I should remember, but I don't. It's like... Learn. There's also a video. Recorded in the same time period. A video? But what about the secret code? I'm afraid I don't have access to the secret code. What about the video, then? I'm programmed to show it to you when you turn 10. I can't wait five months. I want to watch that video now. I'm afraid I can't. Sam, you're programmed to protect Tina. If the police take you away from me, how can I survive all alone? You have a 34% chance to survive on your own. These are not good odds. You see? We must find out more. Show me the video. All right. But I need to recode the video schedule to bypass your birthday. How long will it take? Five seconds? A couple of hours. Oh, gosh. Happy 10th birthday, Pumpkin! I love you so very, very much! And I wish I could be there with you. But if you're seeing this, it means I'm gone and my work isn't finished. I have a mission for you. I know this isn't a burden a 10-year-old should have to shoulder, but I need, no, no, the world needs you to see this mission through. 
I'm sorry I can't speak plainly and make it easier for you, but there are people who know what I'm doing, and they will destroy my work if they ever find it. So in case something happens to me, I've designed its controls to respond to your DNA and to your DNA only. Inside Sam's memory is a code. Use it and you'll find everything you need to finish my work, how to release it into the world, and save them all. I love you, Pumpkin. Be brave, my little warrior. Tell your mom I love her and that I'm so sorry I can't be there with you both. I had a dad? Sam, I need this coat. Now. I'm sorry, Tina. I do not have the means to access it. Assuming the message is accurate, however, if we wait until your 10th birthday, the code will become accessible to you. No! I won't wait five months. It is only logical. My parents are dead, Sam. But I had a father. I'm not just a donor baby, Sam. I need that coat. If he needed me to complete some mission, he must have left some other clues. The message was recorded eight years ago, Tina. It doesn't matter. I need to find out who he was first. This information should be available at the Neo Berlin Registry Office. Then let's go. Hey, big head. What's up? Who are you? I'm Aga. And I'm Isa. And we don't talk with anyone who's not our friend. Or doesn't have something for us. Or doesn't know someone that we know. So which are you? I have this dried up chewing gum. Ha ha. Funny. Leave us alone. What are you doing here at this time of night? Ask the little lass. He's probably not even ten yet. Hmm. None of your business anyway. Nothing. I better go. See? You! Yes? Is this where you archive people's records? No. We only store our glorious mayor, Mr. Rump's poetry here. Ugh. Are Sam's the only helpful robots in this city? So, are you here to peruse the city archives or just to crowd the lobby? I need information about someone. Good. We archive birth certificates, census data, public facilities info. Can I look up someone's personal records? The archive will be open tomorrow at 11.07 a.m. But I need to use it right now. The archive cannot be accessed outside regular work hours unless a properly certified police permission form is produced. I just need to look up my dad's info. Your father's? Hmm, I'd have guessed you to be an abandoned donor child. You kids look all the same to me. Even if I run a 99.2% accurate facial recognition algorithm. Anyway, 
I bet your mother just told you some phony story about a father. She didn't. And I did have a dad. I just need to find out more about him. Sure. Okay. Return with police permission, and you can access the information you need. Uh, I don't have police permission. It can be obtained from any police spot if you have a good reason. No, I can't imagine a street run finagling one. I guess we'll see. So I can't get any info right now? The terminal in the hall is available at all hours. So look up missing persons reports. Okay, that's something. Okay, I'll see if I can get that permission. Enjoy the night. That's too far back in time. The registry office is closed now. Please return tomorrow morning. It would take me forever. It'd be better if I knew my the dad's name. The office is closed now. Sam, do you know my father's name? I'm sorry, Tina. I can't remember it. It might have been erased from my memory. Damn, are you sure he can't do anything about it? I'm afraid not, but we should look around. Maybe someone can help us. Okay, let's find a way to recover your memory. doing here considering there's nobody around I'm programmed to handle traffic and prevent car accidents yes I guess that but the cars are up in the sky I'm programmed to handle traffic and prevent car accidents the nearest car is a hundred meters above us I'm programmed to handle traffic and avoid car accidents are you broken or something no I'm working fine all systems up no bugs a great traffic bot Programmed to handle traffic and prevent car accidents. Okay, whatever. Be good and follow the law. Excuse me. Yes? I need a police permission to use the registry archive of the city. At this time of the night, then I need this authorization signed by an adult. And a good reason to give it to you. We're looking for a missing person. Then, along with the authorization, bring me a missing person ticket. All right, I'll get this paper signed and bring a missing person ticket. Be good and follow the law. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C, Patent 18. Do you know how to recover deleted data from a Model SAM? Hey, I'm selling stuff. I'm no hacker. Even if I do sometimes brute force streaming channels to watch Italian football. Um, so you cannot help me access my unreferenced data? No. Neo Berlin service robots like you are protected by a level 3 firewall. Any attempt to break in will shut down your system. But what if it's just a little information? Like a tiny bit of string? Something I knew very well, that for some reason has been removed. Hmm. In that case, I might have the right thing for you. A recovery pill that Eku, a friend of mine, designed for his pet Polino. Polino was always forgetting his name. He gave me a few samples, but I don't own any robots. So, I could give you one for free. Here, take it. Thank you. Very much appreciated. How does it work? Just shove it down your throat and concentrate on the missing memory. 
The pill will release a series of nanobots, scanning each sector of your drives, analyzing fragments of strings and rebuilding binary sequences. By encrypting serialized ASCII codes and native mapping... Okay, okay. It's enough. Thank you. Anything else? ABU Kowski optical drive, maybe. Can you sign this authorization for us? Sorry, but no. I don't want to sign anything related to the police. Let me focus on Tina's father. Um, it feels weird. But I guess I remember a name now. It's Ren. Ren Herzog. Nice. And now that you say it, it does sound familiar. So my surname is Herzog. Truly German, but I like it. There's a slot in the wall. How was that? I don't know. Probably some sort of tribute. Cool. What's up, kid? I hope you have a good reason to interrupt my delicious meal. How's the food here? Oh, I love it. Much better than the chow at the factory canteen. I have to talk with the union. We should strike again, this time for two weeks. Those damn corporations, they don't care about the working conditions for humans. Yeah, I hate those big corps. Go ahead. You have all my support. Uh, thank you, kid. Uh, we need it. Anything else? Who are you? You look like a criminal. Shh! Be quiet! Neo-Berlin police has ears in every corner. But yes, I'm Roscoe Spencer, the most terrible outlaw in Neo-Berlin. You look more funny than scary. Uh, since that swine of a mayor has raised the standard for public decency, I've removed all 42 of my tattoos and my seven piercings. I hate Mr. Rump. His chubby, nasty face is all around the city. Yes, hoping to get re-elected. <laughs> that pig will never get my vote. Neither mine. I guess you are too young to vote. But I like your attitude. Anything else? Nice mustache. Is it difficult to grow them like that? It's not, but it takes a lot of care. Are you planning to grow a pair, little boy? I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. What? Really? I... Huh. Sorry, I thought you were a boy. Anything else? Can you sign this authorization for me? What? Are you crazy? They'll arrest me right away. Nothing. I'll leave you alone. Dosvidanya! There, little girl. How can I help you? Why are you inside this tube? I'm a performer in the employ of Live Entertainment Inc. To request a song, please insert credits into my stage's pay slot. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't have any credits. 
Your voice is so pretty. Thank you so much. I do wish I could sing songs I like, though. Why can't you sing what you want? Oh, you see, I have to sing what the customer pays for. That doesn't sound like much fun. Not at all, right? But I don't have a choice. Why not? It's in my contract, I'm afraid. Doesn't sound like a good Pizza! deal. Right? But I was young, stupid, and ambitious. They promised me a big break. But I guess they just broke me instead. Are you sick? I'm stuck in the stages. Forever, as far as my contract's concerned. That sounds horrible. Forever? Well, my employer conveniently forgot an annulment clause in my contract. And then what? The contract never had a bit about ending, and I signed it eagerly, too. Can't you escape then? I wish. Only my employers can open the stages. Only places I can ever go now are the stages and my living quarters below. It sounds terrible. Could you sign some paperwork for me? No way. I'm never signing anything ever again. You shouldn't either. But it's important. Pizza! It's an authorization to access the Neo Berlin Archive. Are you sure it's not a contract? Yes. I need to find out more about my dad. In that case, I absolutely would help you. But I'm locked in here. I need a way to leave the stage. Is there really no way to help you escape? Well, I once heard the twins talking about trapping a tutor bot in a stage. Lured her with a hologram of a rock collection, they said. Anyway, to trap her, they must have opened the stage first. The twins? Yes, redheads. You're sure they'll help you? They've offered before. And you refused? That was before I realized how bad my contract really was. I see. I'll go talk to them. Oh, that'd be so great. If it works, meet me at the long road. Can I be enough for you? Head. What's up? Do you know Maisie, the singer? Yes. We've met her a couple of times. Great voice. Can you help her escape from the stage? She told me you know how to mess around with pipe stages around town. Uh, of course. We know every secret of this city. It's a piece of cake. Great. Can you help her then? What's in it for us? I'll owe you. I'll help you whenever you need me. You mean that you will help us for whatever task? We may need a slave. Uh, yes. Okay, fair enough. Meet us at Business Street. Great. See you soon. Hey, big head. What's up? How's it going? Have you managed to release Macy? Not yet. A couple of the valves are stuck. Can you get us some grease? But I have no credits. Not our problem, but if you want to free Macy, we need some grease. All right. I'll go look for something. Will this greasy substance work? Get it here. Should work. Give us a minute, then go check if Maisie got out. Thank you. Goodbye. And remember, you owe us. Catch you when we need a slave. Hi, little girl. Thank you so much for helping me escape. I'm glad you're free. And the proud owner of a flybus ticket out of town. So, 
You need me to sign an authorization form for you? Yes, please. Here it is. Thanks a lot. Bye. See you. Excuse me. Yes? About the police permission. Yes? I have the signed authorization and the missing person ticket. Let me see. So? Everything seems in order. Here, take the permission to access the registry office. Awesome! Thanks! Be good and follow the law. Registry. Mm-hmm. Here's the form. Can I use the archives now? Let me check the form. Hmm. Yes. Good. Seriously? This is how long you need to process a one-line form? Hmm. This date. I wonder if it's filled out properly. I'd hate to ask you to return tomorrow with a correctly filled out form. But, if you keep rushing me... Okay, okay. Take your time. Huh. I see the date is okay after all. The form has been filed. You can now proceed to view the Neo-Berlin Archive. Great. Enjoy the night. It's all true, then. I had a father. Yes, Tina. And if we want to discover more about him, we should visit his old office in the flat where we all used to live. I don't remember much about the old flat. Me neither. I guess the loss of your mother was a trauma for both of us. I don't want to think about it. Let's see what we can find out about Dad. Hello, humanoid droid. Hello, Model Sam. What can I do for you? You know, my deleted memories are coming back piece by piece. And I'm sure I've walked past this bridge many times, but I don't remember you. Who are you? I'm Gia Droid. Gia is the name of my owner. And Droid, well, it's because I'm a droid. And a very pretty one. Uh-oh, don't flatter me. You seem in distress. Is everything all right? Not really. I can't move. I've been here for days. Is your RAM faulty? My RAM? No. My RAM is good. It's my DNA. DNA? I thought only humans had DNA. I'm a unique droid, specially built to take care of a human being. And I contain a code that reacts to her DNA. I've never heard of a droid like you. It's because I was built by Gia's mother, part of a secret experiment. Where is your human now? My human Gia left me a few months ago. She grew older and was too busy streaming all the time. Then, she simply got rid of me. That's super sad. I hope Tina will never abandon me. Don't worry, Sam. I'll never leave you. Anyway, 
Being away from her DNA slowly affected my functionality. I lost some of my limbs, so I had to replace them with scraps. And since Tuesday, I can't move anymore. I'm stuck here, and no one cares. This is one of the saddest robot stories I've ever heard. How can I help you? Gia always wears a double helix bracelet. It contains her DNA sequence, and also her location. If you can bring it to me, I'll be able to restore my data and walk again. Okay. We will ask Gia to give you her bracelet. She won't just give her bracelet to strangers. But please, don't mention me. Once I can walk again, I'll find her and talk to her myself. She wasn't all wrong to abandon me. She grew up, but I kept treating her like a child. The first thing that she should hear about me is an apology from me. All right. We'll try our best to get Gia's bracelet and come back. Thank you very much. See you later. Excuse me. Hi there. Are you one of my followers? What can I do for you? Followers? Yeah. On Neogram, I had 900,000 of them. Can't wait to get to a million. What will happen then? Well, I can brag about it. Doesn't sound that exciting. Aren't you following any influencers? Like Techno Pearl 43 or Madam Nappy? Nah. I'm not into cyberspace at all. You should at least follow me. My name is Gia. On Neogram, Gia underscore meow. So what do you influence anyway? What do you mean, what do I influence? You're an influencer, right? Oh, yeah. I influence some people, trends, lifestyles. Just follow me and you'll understand, okay? I'll see about that. Sure thing, something else. How's the food here? Oh, it's fine. I come here just for the free cyberspace connection. Have you tried anything here? I had the lasagna earlier today. Not bad. Yeah, I had that too once, but Nicola's aunt can do better. Nothing. I'd better go. Sure, and don't forget to follow me on Neogram. Got her DNA bracelet. Awesome. With the sequence coded in here, I can walk again. And it also shows me Gia's location. I'll go visit her. I can't wait. Good luck. I hope she'll drop her transmitter then. What? Oh, nothing. Well, I'll make sure she stops being online 24 7. Great. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't need a nanny anymore. You haven't needed a nanny since you were eight. What do you mean? It was me who needed you to feel like my existence still has meaning. Just like your transmitter, all I am is the purpose you give me. You should go home, Gia. Mother probably didn't even notice I was gone. You won't be going back for her sake. You should come home with me, GD.
Seems like nobody's home. show you some brochures about our lord, Mr. Ruff. Oh, he'll get my boat anyway. I don't need those. Seems like nobody's home. Seems like nobody's home. Seems like nobody's home. Tina. I guess I used to live here when I was very little, but I don't remember it very well. I'm searching for info about my dad. Oh, you sweet thing. I think I remember you when you were just a baby. I knew your parents, and when your mother, well, passed away, I was supposed to report you to the police, but you went missing. Yes. I lived just with Sam these past years, alone, hiding. But don't tell the police, please. Oh, I'll probably forget your visit five minutes after you leave. So, can you tell me more about my father? I remember he disappeared, but I'm sorry. My memories are a blur. I can't be of much help. What I remember is that he had a very close friend. But I can't remember his name either. Blaine, can I do something to help your memory? If you could find his name, the name of your father's friend, maybe it will help me remember who he was and where to find him. How can I get his name? You should visit the office where they used to work. There must be info about him and your dad there too. Here. Take this signal disturber. Combined with an online transmitter, it should help you get rid of any bots in your way. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Excuse me. No way I'll let you in. But... The offices are closed at this time of night, and you are not allowed to stay in the hall for more than 15 minutes. Please leave. Thank you. 
I'm not interested in the current employees. Rumpf? The mayor? He was my dad's teammate? Creepy. But that can't be it. Hild must have been talking about Joseph. We should tell her his name. Dad's friend. Um, Was his name Joseph? Joseph. Um, that rings a bell. Yes, now I remember. Him and your dad used to spend lots of time together. Always hanging out somewhere in the Neo Berlin slums. Oh, at Smirks. Smirks? Yes, Smirks Bar in the slums of Neo Berlin. That's your next stop if you want to find out more about your dad. Thanks. I'd better go. Goodbye. Hello. Hi there. What's up? You shouldn't talk with an old hobo. Who are you? And what happened to your arm? I am Frank. And this arm, well, it was uh, 2022. Uh, 40 years ago, I was young back then. There was no Neo Berlin, just Berlin. I was fighting at the border of Narva against the Chinese Russian army. I remember it was dawn, a bit cloudy. Tina, I'm sure his story is very interesting, but there's a 98% chance he'll go on forever and we don't have a lot of time. You're right. Oh, well, some other time then. Do you know where Smirk's bar is? Oh, of course I know. I've spent many enjoyable nights there, like the one when I met Mathilde. Mm, such a woman, that Mathilde. Or the one when I had a fight with Smirk before he chickened out. Oh, so many memories. But they don't make the Negroni as they used to. Back in 2051, the Negroni there was the best in Neo Berlin and... Can you please make it short and tell me where the bar is? It's not far from here. It's uh, pretty easy to find. The problem is accessing it, since there's a bioscanner on the way to it. And only human adults can pass the bioscanner. No kids or robots allowed. Why me? There's no way we can go through? Mm, I don't know how to cheat it to let kids pass. But I used to sneak through my old pet, a cute robo-mouse. I have something that may help. Here, take it. Cool. What is it? It's an emosphere. Charge it with the positive feelings of two humans. Carry it with your robot. And it should let you bypass the scanner. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Are you one of those elders who remembers how it was before? If you mean that I remember the world of trees, clear water, and no cyberspace, then I am. Can you tell me? Well, it all started... Tina, 
I'm sure his story is very interesting, but there's a 98% chance he'll go on forever, and we don't have a lot of time. You're right. Oh, well, some other time then. Better if I go. See ya. And be careful around the slums of Neo Berlin. Hi there. Can I interest you in an electric spoon to enjoy your breakfast? Um, hi. I'm Valentina. Just tell me what you need, little one. I'm sure to have it. What do you sell here? Well, this being a gadget shop, we've got killer gadgets. Toe Scratcher 8000 ZX is super popular lately. We sell it like hotcakes. Why would I need that? Okay, I've got exactly what you need. How about a Robo Teddy Circa 51? Cute as a Roomba, super chatty. Chattier than you? Hey, give me a break. I work on commission. I'm sorry, I have no credits. So why did you come to the store? Looked interesting. All right. Anything else? So, what does your shop sign say? No idea. I just downloaded it. Okay. I should go. Bye! Revealing some strong emotions. Hi there. Can I interest you in an electric spoon to enjoy your breakfast? Um, hi. I'm Valentina. Just tell me what you need, little one. I'm sure to have it. Looks like something's bothering you. What do you mean? I have this gadget. It tells me when people miss someone or are sad. You mean an emosphere? I sold one of those last year. Oh, so you know how they work? Yes. So, it's saying I'm emotionally unsettled or something? Yes. And I guess you want to fix whatever's upset me to fill it. Yes. Well, you're in luck. My boyfriend broke up with me. Never said a thing. I thought we were solid, you know? So what happened? No idea. He ghosts me, totally hacks my phone and deletes his number too. Means he won't talk to me. But I need to find out why he left, you know? Maybe I can talk to him. How can I find him? He goes by Eni. Just look him up in cyberspace. But I don't do cyberspace. Then maybe you can find another way to talk with him. I'll see what I can do. Bye! Good evening. Hey, you. What's up? What are you doing? My name is Haraka. Nice to meet you. I'm Tina. Nice to meet you, too. So... I'm creating art. Cool. I like it. But what is it? I usually paint using old printer ink. So tonight, I thought I'd use my usual ink with these advanced spray guns. And look at this. This dirty, boring wall is now coming alive. Yes, yes, but I mean, what's the meaning of it? It's called Action de Grasse, but an artist should never explain his art. Okay, if I figure it out, will you give me a useful item or something? Not really. Have you ever been at Smirk's Bar? Oh, yes. Cool bar, but I'm pretty sure kids and robots aren't allowed in there. Why? Is it dangerous? Nah, not really. But if you can't sell alcohol to kids and robots, what's the point? I've seen drunk droids before. 
I'm not sure they were exactly drunk. It was probably something else. Like kids electrocuting them with long electrified sticks? What? Oh, it doesn't matter. Can I borrow some of your spray paints? No, sorry, I, I need them. Looks like you didn't notice I swapped the cans. Stop. Hello there. Can we have a peek inside? No, I don't like you. And I choose who can enter. What's wrong with me? Your head is too big compared to the rest of your body. It's not! It's just my helmet that makes it look that way. Well, I don't like you. What can I say? Can I find something for you and in exchange you let me in? I've been doing this sort of quest all day long. Must have been a harsh day. Don't tell me. But no. I'm not one of those characters. I don't need any help. Then I guess I'll go away. Have fun. trying to reach EAM, Valentino's boyfriend. There's nobody by this cyberspace handle here. Please, she misses him and wants to understand why he left. I'm not EAM. Don't bother me anymore. I'm sure you're EAM. Yeah? How can you be sure? How do you know EAM is a cyberspace ID? Oh. I spoke with Valentina today. She needs to know why you broke up with her. Hmm. I guess the police wouldn't recruit a kid to trick me, would they? Just tell Valentina I... I'm sorry. She wants to understand. She's really hurting. Just tell her the old prime override bombed. I don't want to drag her down with me. No matter how much I miss her, I love her so much. I'd never forgive myself if the cops went after her. I understand. And please, tell her to never again ask strangers to check up on me. It's not safe. Okay, I'll tell her. Bye. There. Can I interest you in an electric spoon to enjoy your breakfast? Um, hi. I'm Valentina. Just tell me what you need, little one. I'm sure to have it. I spoke with your boyfriend. Yes? He said the Alt Prime override bombed, and it's not safe to be in contact. What? He knows I don't care if the police are after him. He said he'd hate himself forever and ever if he dragged you into it. But we were supposed to be in this together, no matter what. He said he loves you. And will always love you. I guess someday. Who knows, right? Are you feeling better? A little sad, but I understand. It sounds like you two really care for each other. But this city, all it does is pull people apart. I'm so sorry. I couldn't make you happy. But I do feel better. I owe you a big one. I'm not sure I can help with the emosphere, but let me try anyway. It worked. 
I guess happiness doesn't always mean joy and laughter. I guess sometimes it's just peace. But I'd like to be alone now. Good luck, little girl. Thanks. And good luck to you, too. Bye! Hi there. What's up, kid? I hope you have a good reason to interrupt my delicious meal. Considering you are a criminal... Yes? Do you know how to cheat a biometric scanner to let an underage human pass through it? Ah, that's easy. You just need to build a biometric cheater. First thing you learn in any dark cyberspace tutorial. But I don't have time to get all the materials and such. You know how many posters there are of Mr. Rumpf around the city? Too many. Exactly. How about this? Deface five of them, and I'll give you a biometric cheater. Great, I'll do it. It was in my plans already. <laughs> nice. And come back only after you've done five of them. Uh, don't lie to me. I won't. Does Vidanya? Oh, it's revealing some strong emotions. Excuse me. What do you want, little guy? Don't you see I'm busy? I sense there's something not right in your sentimental life. How so? I have a type of sixth sense. Am I wrong? No, I'm not. I really miss my son, Joe. He hasn't visited me in ages. He spends all his time connected to cyberspace and forgets about me. That's sad. If my dad were here, I'd spend all my time with him. Sweet God. But yes. If I knew he still loved me. Maybe I can talk to him for you. Where can I find him? You would? Oh, thank you. He hangs around not far from here, always tripping. All right. I'll go talk with Joe for you. Good luck, little guy. Hey there. Nice helmet you have. What can I do for you? What happened to your headset? The screen died. I was tripping in this amazing rooftop club. Great music. Sexy. Uh, you're too young for the details. Anyway, I need a new screen as soon as possible. Can't stay away from cyberspace too long. I see. It, it truly is addictive. It is. Anything else I can help you with? Are you Joe, the son of Hayao? Why are you asking? I was at Hayao's. He told me his son's often tripping around here. All right, all right, yes. I'm Joe. What does my father want? Well, he's really worried about me. He misses you so much. Oh, that crazy cook. I miss him too. I can't stand his mad ideas. Always going on and on about miso this and sour that. But I'm not into that at all. That's why I stay away. Well, I prefer cyber tripping. It's super cool. Have you tried it? Um, I prefer to avoid it. Your loss. Is there something you can give me to show him you still love him? Hmm. I have a lovely photo of us together that I always carry with me. Great. That'll be perfect. But I can give it to you only if you do me a favor. Ugh. Here we go again. What's the favor? The screen of my headset conked out. Can you help me repair it? How can I do that? Oh, easy peasy. Just bring me a bottle of rocket soda. A bottle of soda? Yes, the sodium bicarbonate has a great effect on a burnt screen. Why not get it yourself? I need to walk by my father's restaurant, and I don't want him to see me. He'll bug me again with those lessons of how to blend beer and soy sauce. All right, I'll see what I can do. Stay cool.
here's the bottle of rocket soda. Great. Now I can fix my headset and get back to tripping. What about the photo? Oh, right. Here it is. Perfect. I'll go give it to him. Stay cool. Hi there. What's up, kid? I hope you have a good reason to interrupt my delicious meal. About the rump posters. Have you vandalized five of them? Yes, I have. Good girl. But don't do that in the real world. What? Isn't this the real world? It is. It's just a meta game joke. Do avoid lawsuits from parent associations. Whatever. Can you please give me the cheater? Of course. Here it is. Make good use of it. Thanks. Goodbye. Do svidaniya. I talked with Joe, and he gave me this photo. I'm sure he loves you. Oh, thank you. It's so nice. He loves me, then. My heart is full of joy. Aren't you worried he spends so much time in cyberspace? I am. But he chose this life. And only he can choose to reject it. But knowing he still loves me, that he loves something outside of cyberspace? It means he has a way back. So I can keep hoping, which makes me so happy. It does? Then, could you charge a bit of my Emosphere? Your what? Here. Just touch it. Um, all right. Thank you. I gotta go now. Good luck, little guy. You shouldn't be here, little girl. Please leave. Is there a man called Joseph who comes here? Sorry, I don't butt into my patrons' personal lives. Please go. Are you Smurf? No, I'm Paul. Who's Smurf then? Uh, the bar's original owner. But I really shouldn't be talking to you. What happened to him? Well, I heard he had some trouble with the machine. And you really should go now. Um, okay. I guess I'll go. Take care. Hi. Hi there. You know anyone called Joseph? It depends on who's asking. I need to speak to him. He knows about my dad. He's his best friend. Wait, Tina? Do you know me? Let's keep it down, okay? You don't know who's listening, even here. If you know me... Does this mean you're Joseph? Well, uh, yes. So you knew my dad? I did, indeed. Can you tell me more about my dad? What would you like to know? What was he like as a person? He was a sweet man. He loved you and your mom so much. Then why did he leave us? He had a vision for a better future and the skill to make it real. With ability comes responsibility. And I guess he had to try, which makes him a better man than most of us. Not a better dad, though. I think he sincerely believed he'd go right back to you and your mom, Tina. What kind of work was he doing? Even if I was his best friend, he only trusted his family. But he did ask me for a different favor, which I didn't handle too well, did I? What kind of favor? It's a long time in the past. And anyway, the work that your dad does, uh, did. I didn't know the details, but it was important. Vital, even. For Neo Berlin and for his daughter's future. For your future, Tina. I guess it'd be nicer if he stuck around to make sure I have a future. He did the best he could. That I know to be absolutely true. Why did he abandon me and my mom? I think in a way, he didn't get to make the choice. I'm sorry. 
Never mind. You know about the code in Sam? What is it for? I'm not sure. I believe it's the key to Ren's work, and that it's supposed to activate when you turn 10 years old. I can't wait a moment longer. I can't help. Sam's encryption is superior. There has to be a way. You remind me of Ren so much. Okay, there's a hacker. He works out of the abandoned hotel in the Asian alley. Goes by Chip. He's the best. If he can't help you, nobody can. Frank at the black market should be able to help you reach him. Thanks. Wait. You have to tell Frank I sent you. Otherwise, he won't trust you. Here, take my pendant. Give it to him, and he'll help you, instead of talking your ear off. Um, yeah. Thank you. Take care. Joseph gave me this pendant so that you can trust us. Hmm, let me see it. Oh, yes. It's really Joseph's. Mm, what more can I do for you? Joseph told me you might know the code to access Chip's lab. Actually, yes, I do. We need it. Please. Mm, all right. If Joseph gave you his pendant, I should trust you. Joseph is one of those men you can trust, no matter what. I remember in 2055, I was walking down the Asian quarter when... The code! Just give me the code! All right, all right. The code is 2442. Thanks a lot. Gotta run now. See ya. And be careful around the slums of Neo-Berlin. This is where they made the call. Find them. Sir, we will find them. Incompetent! The whole lot of you! Hey, Tina. I was waiting for you. How do you know my name? And how come you were waiting for me? Neo Berlin has no secrets for me. Wherever there's a terminal, a string of code, a camera, I'm there too. Sounds creepy. Depends on your point of view. But I know so little about you. You haven't used cyberspace much, have you? Barely. Many years ago. I avoid it now. But I have an important mission, and I need your help. Fair enough. Can you help me find the secret code in Sam? There's no data system in Neo Berlin I can't penetrate. And this sounds like a great challenge. So, what do you know about the code? Not much. Just that my dad hid it in Sam. Some sort of code to be revealed to me on my 10th birthday. And did your Sam try to bypass the release date already? He said so. And he tried to retrieve it? Yes, but no luck. Then it must be very well protected. Exciting. Can you do it then? I think I can, but I need you to help me with something. Okay. I need an extra source of power. A car battery will do it. Then I need to understand your dad's way of coding. His coding style's signature, if you will. For that, I need you to copy some of his work onto a floppy disk. Last but not least, a model sound transistor to amplify your robot's signal. That's all? If you want, I could add my grocery list. Uh, no, it's okay. Here, take this note just in case and a floppy to copy your dad's work. All right, I'd better go. Take care. Excuse me. What?
What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C Patent 18. Do you happen to have a Model SAM transistor? Of course I do. That's 400 credits. We don't have any credits. Well, I can't give it to you for free this time. Um, can you give it to me for something other than money? Like what? Potatoes? Something you really, really need and that I can find for you. Hmm, there may be something you can do for me. Great, what is it? I'm pretty busy with the shop, but I'm craving my favorite drink. Bring me some gin and neon tonic, and the transistor's all yours. All right, we'll go look for it. See you later. Hello. Hello, robot friend. Do you happen to know where we can find a car battery? Uh, there's probably a car parts store somewhere in the neighborhood. We don't have any credits. I'm not sure how I can help then. Ask Paul the bartender. He is into cars. I'm detecting that you are drinking a gin and neon tonic. You know your alcohol. My substance identification tool combines spectral and chemical analysis to yield the accurate composition of consumables. It helps prevent unhealthy food consumption and poisoning in children. That's so cool. All SAMs are built this way. Yeah, but it's not only about how you're built, right? A SAM is his programming. And terabytes worth of time you spent with the kid you're assigned to. Yes, spending time with Tina is special. Which makes you more than the sum of your parts. Not unlike people. Humans have free will. How much free will do I have in this city, sitting in this bar? You can leave any time, can't you? Yet, the next time you come to Smirks, I'll still be sitting right here. Why? That's a great question to drink to, but I see you don't have a drink. Here, have a glass of the best gin and neon tonic on this side of reality. Um, I'm a robot. Then how about a toast? Okay, I needed this anyway. <laughs> now we're talking to all keeper of memories. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Hi. You shouldn't be here, little girl. Please leave. Sounds like you worked in a car shop once. Do you know where I can find a car battery? You can certainly order it, or go to a store and get it. What if you didn't have the credits to buy it? Well, I'd be able to take a used battery out of a car, I suppose. How? Well, one does not simply slide a battery out of its power module. Really? Well, okay, you do, but you have to unlock the car first. So, how can I unlock a car? That would generally require a keyless entry system. You mean a remote? Yep. Do you have one I can borrow? You have no idea how often customers forgot to drop off their remotes. So I'd get creative, crypting and decrypting, to create something universal. So you have it. Why is it so important? I'm nine. I literally just learned I had a dad. I need a car battery to understand why he abandoned me. The answer may be something you don't want to hear, but OK, here. Take it. Thank you. Um, okay. I guess I'll go. Take care. It's open now, and I'm going through major internal conflict. Well done. Thank you. 
We've got this glass of gin and neon tonic. Here, take it. We spilled a few drops on our way here, but it should be enough. Hey, there's facial hair on the glass. But okay, I'm so thirsty that I don't mind. Here, take the transistor. Thank you. You've been very helpful. You bet. You two got so many items from this store. I wonder if the game developer will give me a percentage of the revenues. Excuse me? Oh, never mind. Have fun. Goodbye. Hey, Tina. I was waiting for you. Regarding the items to hack into Sam... Did you find everything? Yes. Here is all you need. Awesome. Let's take a peek into Sam now. Please, be gentle. Oh, he won't feel a thing. How did it go? I got the code. It's an IP address to a secret cyberspace server. Awesome. But... Uh... To finish your dad's mission, it looks like you have to go into cyberspace. But not the ordinary one. A parallel cyberspace that your father built and hid somewhere. And the secret code inside Sam is the key to enter it. Wow. But this means that I have to go into cyberspace. Yes. Is that a problem? I don't like cyberspace. I'm not used to it. I won't risk going myself. Surely your dad coded it for you. I'm afraid there's no other way to complete your dad's mission. Can Sam come with me? Technically, robots are not allowed in cyberspace. But considering this is a unsanctioned server, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, then. Let's do it. Please drop all items that you don't need and sit on the couch. The gear will automatically copy over the rest into cyberspace. It will take me a few minutes to arrange everything. I need to remind you that we have come here to complete your dad's mission. You're right, Sam. What now? There should be an in-cyberspace representation of your dad's lab. I'm calculating an 88% chance that he coded clues so you can find it. I suggest that we locate a vantage point from which to examine our surroundings. Okay, let's do it.
This lift is broken, but I may be able to adjust it with the right tools. We need a heavy-duty rope, a small piston, and a lever. Better to print out the list for Tina. An old crate of simul wood. My sensors reveal a weak spot. Lots of useless things. Among them, a ladle and a dust blower. Excuse me. I hope you won't ask me what time it is. I already know what time it is. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> but why are we talking about the time? You started it. I'm pretty sure we were talking about the weather. But talking about the weather is boring. I'm bored. Actually, we're trying to find some items to fix a lift. Oh, but I'm even worse at finding things. If you already know where they are, you don't have to find them. But I don't remember where anything is, so I need to look for everything. Um, okay. Can I just ask? Proceed at your own risk. Okay, I need the following. A small piston. Plenty at the repair shop. I get mine replaced twice between Encodia updates. How can we get to the repair shop? Climb into a transport pipe, push the button, and you're there. I'm afraid we are too big to enter the pipes I've seen around. Uh-oh. Then you have to walk there. Actually, I would like to ask something else about the piston. Is there no way you can give us your piston? It is very important. But then I won't be able to move. You can always go to the repair shop and get fixed. Right. But the transport pipe hasn't worked since two Encody updates. So I'm afraid that won't be possible. What if we fix the pipe? That would be very nice of you. I mean, will you give us your piston? I don't see why not. Okay, I'll be right back. Better to activate it first. It worked. Something happened, but it's still clogged. Something happened, but it's still clogged. Seems like it's finally unclogged. Excuse me. 
I hope you won't ask me what time it is. About the piston. Yes? It's gonna rain? We have fixed the transport pipe. Stellar! It's been two whole update cycles since I've had maintenance done! Will you give us your piston? Huh? Why would I do that? Um, do you remember talking to us before? Only about the weather. Wait, no, not the weather. It's boring. Right? You said you will give us your piston if we fix the transport pipe. I don't remember, but since I'm going in for maintenance anyway, I don't see why I wouldn't give you my time. You mean piston. Yes, piston. Let's go to the transport pipe, and I'll give it to you. Please pick me up, so we'll get there faster. Here you go. And now, time to go. Good luck, friend. You do need maintenance, and not only for your piston. The lift is now repaired. This is so amazing! I can see a pond from here! And a cave! A weird building, and oh! A strange floating rock! I guess we can now travel to a lot more places in the forest. The screen says, please insert token. Oh, something small and shiny fell on the grass. Hello, tiny organic creature. Why are you waking up my immense processor? Who... what? 
are you? I am a series T55 serial GZJ24 multi-core data analyzer. A non-gravitational mineral box structure with a Yoda byte of storage. With a custom operating system on silicon macro chips with perpetual RAM. What? I'm just a big floating stone shaped supercomputer. That's better. Cool. Can you tell me more about this place? And the mission my dad has for me? That's a very boring question. I expected something more challenging. So? Well, this is Encodia. It's a parallel, hidden, revolutionary cyberspace. I could talk about it for hours. But I sense that you are in a hurry, and you crave to learn about your dad. Yes, please. Your dad, Ren, is my creator. He created everything you see around you, and he also programmed me to talk with you, if you ever come here. However, I was expecting you after your 10th birthday, which is yet to come. What's with the 10th birthday thing? I don't get it. Ren believed that you would then be old enough to safely launch Encodia, in case something happened to him before he finished it. As soon as he had a valuable prototype, he set it up so you could launch it. Although I am sure he never wanted it to come to it. Rumpf and his goons are looking for us. We must act quickly. Mr. Rumpf is an idiot. Not sure he is a threat, but better not risk it. My birthday is in a few months. Does it really matter? Since you are already here, I don't think it's a problem. That said, to make sure that you are ready to accomplish the mission, Ren planned a quest for you. You must solve it to reach the control room and release Encodia into the world out there. Control room? Release Encodia? I don't understand. Everything will be clear soon. But first, you must activate the mechanism. What mechanism? The one in the cave. I cannot tell you much more, but I will now make it accessible to you. Please activate the mechanism and come back when you're finished. All right, will do. Enjoy Encodia. Excuse me. Hello, my dear fellow. What are you doing here? I am the guardian of the clearing. Do many pass through here? You are the first in nine years. But soon, this place will flourish. What will happen soon? Encodia is a vast land ready to welcome the minds of many. What will happen then? Rebirth, like the dormant seed finally sensing the light, then reaching for it. Drinking it and finally realizing its true destiny. Um, okay then. Can I ask something else? Certainly. Could you move so that we can proceed to the clearing? I would love to. Just give me the password and you can go on. Where can we get the password? I do not know. But if it is meant to be found, all you need to do is search for it. Never mind.
In adventure games, the X marks the spot to dig. Can't open it. I guess the only way is with a key. Baseball set in here. I'll just take the mouthpiece. doesn't work. Some cogs are missing. It might work. Very well. Very well.
Let me try. Good. I don't have any credits. Couple of useful things. Let me try this. Yeah, it could work. Hooray! Hello, tiny organic creature. Why are you waking up my immense processor? About my task, I activated the mechanism. I've noticed. Well done. What now? I guess I can give you the password to move on. Yes, please. But first, I have one last crucial fundamental question. And if you give me the wrong answer, I'll shut down Encodia, delete all save files, and uninstall it. It'll be gone, forever. I'm scared. What's the question? Are you ready? I was born ready. Correct answer. Very good. The password is... Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Uh, what? Now go. Give the password to the ancient robot of Encodia, and it will let you enter the core of it all. Great! Thanks a lot! See you! Excuse me. 
About the clearing. Mm -hmm. We have the password. Please tell me. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Correct. You can proceed. I'll have a walk. Slowly. A goodbye. Bye. Can't unplug them now. Sir, if we unplug them now, we will damage the SAM-53 unit, and the girl will likely suffer major brain damage or death. Such drastic measures won't be needed. As it were, Mr. Langer here will happily give us the server address, won't you, Mr. Langer? And why would I do that? Because is it not extremely convenient that law enforcement is already on location to investigate the horrific death of a little urchin caught up in your vicious cyberspace infractions? You won't risk destroying the code, along with the robot. Oh, I'm sure forensics on your equipment will give us all we need. Okay, okay. Just don't hurt the kid, okay? All right, you incompetent buffoons! We need to find them, quickly! I believe that your headache may be due to being in cyberspace for too long. What? Prolonged exposure to cyberspace for first-time users is known to cause the following symptoms. Headaches, fatigue, body pains, loss of appetite, low blood pressure, loss of consciousness. Okay, okay. So you're saying we should hurry. Let's go.
dear human. I am programmed to only speak to the master or his daughter. Please identify yourself. I'm Tina, Ren's daughter. Then you must solve Tina's puzzle to prove it. Um, okay. You must answer five questions about Tina. This shouldn't be difficult. All right. Here is the first question. When darkest is baby Tina's night, it's this that makes the fright all right. Is it Tina's nightlight? Her teddy? Her Sam? My teddy. You've got it. Ready for the next question? Okay, this isn't so bad. Go. Here is the second question. A sound like no other, it puts a smile on baby Tina's lips. And her father. Is it Drummy? Sam's lullaby? Ducky's quack? Ren's hand farts? Sam's lullaby. You've got it. Ready for the next question? Let me guess. You'll ask what baby Tina's favorite color is next? I do not have this information in my database. Here is the third question. No matter if before or after her nappy, this makes baby Tina's tummy happy. Is it Mom's strudel, Moo Moo Milk, Ren's spaghetti, Choco Drops, Pizza? Mom's strudel. You've got it. Ready for the next question? Sure, go on. Here is the fourth question. Even if soulless and gray, this object gave baby Tina a laugh every day. Is it Tina's Chuckles doll, the TV, Ren's zip socks, Mom's cell phone, Sam? Sam. You've got it. Ready for the next question? Hmm, that last one was, I guess, obvious. Let's hear the next one, then. Here is the final question. Of all places outside of her home, it's here that baby Tina loves to roam. Is it the LED Alley? Mr. Toots? The park? The old skate rink? The canal? The old skate rink. That is correct! Oh, wait. I remember it. We used to go there. As a family? I've been a baby carrier, and my dad... I guess it was my dad. We'd zoom all over the place. It was nice. You have passed. You are the master's daughter. I have waited for so long to say welcome, Tina. The resonance runs here somewhere. Find it. Bearded guy must have been the captain. I've seen nurses around Neo Berlin bring people back to life with this.
I can't detach it. It's well fixed. Delay. Interesting echo, but I can't understand how it works. Sounds like a door opened downstairs. Nothing useful in there. A lot of charged batteries. It says, listen to the void. It tells you secrets. Yes. Dad? Hmm. I don't remember making you. You don't remember me? I have important work and then so little time. I have to finish. Wait a minute. Why would I make a person? You don't remember your family? My family? Oh, well that's why I have to hurry, you know. I have a little baby girl. And I don't want her to grow up in that world out there. I'm that girl. I'm Tina. No way! Tina's just a tiny baby! Y you left me a message in Sam for my 10th birthday! I did? I did, yes, I did! But Tina is just two years old now! This must be a trick! It's not, Dad! It's a trick! It's a trick! Maybe Rumpf got to Sam! But, wait, if he got to Sam, my, my family! It's not a trick! I'm here! But Mom... I'm here because you said I must complete a mission. You called me! I did, but eight years. Is this really you? Tina? My Tina? It's me. Yeah. Victor! Move it! Move it! 
They're here! We must go! Oh no! We must open the hatch! I've forgotten how! It's my dad. But he's a bit spaced out at the moment. He can't help me. Okay, Tina. Hans, disconnect and get the decimator and ten thousand bombs. Appropriate. But, Dad... Tina, it has been a long day. You should eat and rest now. Plus, a meal will trigger proper nervous centers in your physical body and delay adverse effects from prolonged exposure to cyberspace. And just look at this view! What a better place to have a picnic with my Tina! Oh, okay. Excellent! We will then need the following. At least 12 raspberries, some crystal clear water, and some bread. Could you please fetch them? I'm very tired. Uh, sure. That portion of the woods is glitching. It looks like a smaller version of the one I met earlier. Another cubic terminal. A bit smaller this time. It doesn't work this way. Not the right action. Yes.
Not working. I guess it controls some electrical stuff. There's something weird in there. It looks like a smaller version of the one I met earlier. Yes, Pumpkin? About the picnic. Yes! I can't wait! Did you get everything? Is this really the best time to have a picnic? No better time than now, and it's long overdue. Have you seen how beautiful today is? You can't miss that. Hurry! Uh, Dad? Yes, Pumpkin? About Encodia. It's not finished, but too late now. We'll just have to launch it as is, and hope that it's stable enough. What happens if it's not stable enough? Oh, it's just, uh, if it's not stable, and too many people access it at once, it may just get corrupted and do nothing. What will it take to finish it? I, I, I don't know. Just, it needs to be bigger, so that it's more stable. I need to make more stuff. More trees, more hills, more lakes, more... Dad. Oh, yes, yes. Let's launch it after the picnic. About my mission. It's very important. It's the only way to make a better world for my kid. I'm your kid. Oh, yes, that's, that's right. I'm so sorry. What if I wasn't ready? But you were. No, wait. Was there a choice? I, I don't even remember. That's okay, I guess. About Mr. Rump. Oh, that silly, silly man. Always chasing. If he took a moment to realize if he stops, he won't fall. Huh? Um, but why is he after you? He's scared that if cyberspace doesn't keep people enthralled, they'll see him for who he really is. But we all know how awful he is. There's a huge difference between awful and weak. He who wants power doesn't mind being awful, as long as he doesn't appear weak. Nothing, really. I don't have any coins. It's running through the woods. I like the mixture of nature and modern elements in here. Not working. It doesn't work this way. A bit dirty. Let's try this. Nice. Nice. Hi, Tina. Are you friends with the other floating dude? I could say that we are the same thing. Whatever. The other you was cooler and with a better view. Well, I'm there right now, too. So it doesn't really bother me. Creepy AI stuff. I need to arrange a picnic. Can you help me? A picnic? I sense that there are intruders in Encodia. No time for a picnic. That dunderhead rumpf may not be as harmless as I thought. But you're never wrong, right? I never said he was 100% harmless. There are always unpredictable factors. Uh -huh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, can you help me with the picnic? I do not think a picnic is a good idea. But it'll make my dad happy. Ren asked you to arrange a picnic. 
He must have totally gone mad. Don't say that! Anyway, no. How could I help you? And surely I don't eat raspberries or drink water. Wait, how do you know? Ugh, ugh, forget it. What's happening over there? An unpredictable malfunction. A glitch in the data flow. Whatever. Can you fix it? Why should I? It is not my task. Are you saying that you're not good enough to fix it? Of course I can fix that glitch. But it's so insignificant right now that there's no point for me to waste time with it. It sounds like an excuse, and I'm pretty sure it'll take you half a second. 0 0.002 seconds, to be precise. So it is an excuse because you're not good enough to fix the glitch. I can solve it in a snap. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No way. Of course I can. Nope. All right, you stubborn girl. Let me show you. Done. Gosh, you machines are unbelievable. Nice. There's a rope in here. See if it works. Nice. Great. Nice. Uh, Dad? Yes, Pumpkin? About the picnic. Yes! I can't wait! Did you get everything? Yes, here's everything. That's my girl! Let's do this! Sam? band and three big rocks yes hurry i'll make more areas of the forest accessible to you
Let me try. Good. Maybe. Nice. A few items that could be useful. I should spray it on some of my joints. It's stuck. It should move now. There's a strong magnet there. It might work. I'm afraid this caused an explosion somewhere nearby. pressure um, oh, oh, yes what was i supposed to get for the catapult a large cup a big elastic band and three big rocks Just take that big elastic band. Uh, Dad? Uh, the air pressure. Um Yes? Here's everything for the catapult. Perfect. Give me a minute. Tina, it is not safe here. Yes, Tina, get back. Robot will protect you. Space 
and will save the world. How will it save the world? It will reactivate dormant neural pathways. Well, it will remind people of what cyberspace replaced, and they'll disconnect, even from Encodia. Then they won't be manipulated and controlled through cyberspace anymore. Wow. That's why Rumpf doesn't want Encodia released. So how do I launch it? Well... Have you forgotten this too? It seems that I have. you now. Where am I? What's this place? This is the end. The grand finale of Ren's silly little project. No way. My dad must have safeguarded Encodia against this. <laughs> you think Ren was some genius? That silly man changed the world. The world is already great. And if it needed to be better, I'd have made it so. Not Ren. Not with his joke of a cyberspace, but it's over. Disconnect now. I'll find you a nice foster family, and we'll all forget about this nonsense. I don't want your help. And we can't just interrupt Encodia, can we? Of course I can. I'm Mayor Rampf. If I can't create a handy little trap for a squirmy little mouse, who can? You created the space? Impressive, isn't it? Not as impressive as Encodia. <laughs> Encodia. I only needed a few minutes to put this together. How long did Ren take? Your entire lifetime? For a few trees and grass? You needed minutes for some weird shapes and muddy colors? Dad would have needed seconds. Seconds? You think he was some prodigy? All he did was miss deadlines and push his little vanity projects on management, like he'd rediscovered the wheel or something. Wait, are you jealous of my dad? Jealous? Me? The mayor of Deo Berlin? The most competent leader of the greatest city in the world? Who governs with acumen the world has not seen since Hugel Bernstein? Who do you take me for, you little... Well? He looks bumped. I should move quickly while I can. This looks pretty buggy to me. They're not bugs. They're features. You can't do a thing to mess with my space. No doubt it's your space, Mr. Rump. The best you can create. Just not as good as what my dad can make. What? You think that silly man can do better? <laughs> that he's better than me? He's already proven it. Just compare this ugly space to Encodia. My space doesn't need to be pretty. It's perfect for what I needed to do. No doubt it's your space, Mr. Rump. The best you can create. Just not as good as what my dad can make. What? 
You think that silly man can do better? <laughs> that he's better than me? You keep calling him silly, but I think you envy him. No way! I'm the mayor of Neo Berlin. He is a lonely coder, and it turns out I'm a better coder too. Look at what I've made in no time. No doubt it's your space, Mr. Rump. The best you can create. Just not as good as what my dad can make. What? You think that silly man can do better? <laughs> that he's better than me? Yes. What? Then, better than me. Me, who runs Neo Berlin like clockwork. Despite being surrounded by incompetent buffoons everywhere. And what has Ren accomplished? What? Just because he... Um, he bugged again. I should move. Something happened. This place seems very unstable. If I keep triggering things, it may collapse. Disconnect now, and I'll make sure you're very well taken care of in Neo Berlin. I don't trust you. You're just a nasty, selfish man. I'll be just fine alone in Neo Berlin. As long as people don't re-elect you. Naive child. You think I'm the problem? I give the people what they want. Safety. Basic necessity. Even nanny robots. And of course, cyberspace. I'll give it all to you too. I'll even give you another sap. You're lying, you nasty man. I'll never trust you. I trust my dad. I'll launch in Kodia and everything will be okay. For everyone. Because your dad thought trees and grass may change people for the better? I'm so sick of that nonsense. If it was nonsense, you wouldn't care if I launched in Kodia. It's nonsense, but not harmless. Sucking up resources, giving people ideas. Psychologists have analyzed proposals like Ren's. They destroy society. You're a lying, nasty man. I trust my dad. I'll because your dad sought trees and I'm so sick of it. You just want to keep being mayor. That's not a bad thing. At least, not for the people who support me. Do as I say. Disconnect, and you'll see how nice I can be. I'll never trust a nasty man. I trust my dad. Because your dad thought I'm so st If it was nonsense, you wouldn't care if I launched in Kodia. It's nonsense, but psychologists have analyzed- You're a lying- I trust- Because your dad- I'm so- just because you can't understand or feel in Kodia doesn't mean my dad's wrong. That's exactly what it means. He's wrong. He's always been wrong. No matter how much praise he got, or whom he impressed, or... Um, he bugged again. I should move. Stable. If I keep triggering things, it may collapse. <sighs> you and your silly joke of a dad can't defeat me. We're not trying to defeat you. We're trying to help Neo Berlin. Help Neo Berlin? Neo Berlin is already great, thanks to me. Neo Berlin is gray and sad. My dad and Encodia will change it. My city doesn't need Rin's change. It's the best that it can be. That silly man. Always thinking he knows best of all. 
We say silly ideas. We see his incessant chatter about meaning and connection and nature and... Um, he bugged again. I should move. Something happened. This place seems very unstable. If I keep triggering things, it may collapse. Your headache must be getting worse. Disconnect or you'll die, just like your mother did. You couldn't measure up to my dad. Will talking about my mom change that? <laughs> you see, I know your mom overdosed on cyberspace. So isn't it ironic that to improve Neo Berlin for you, Ren not only turned her into a chunky, but also created the very cyberspace that is now killing you. I'm okay. I just need to hang on a bit longer and find a way out of here. I'm sure that's exactly what your mom said on the day she died. What a nasty man you are to bring my mom into this. I'm an efficient man who must get back to running Neo Berlin. So hurry, disconnect. Cyberspace isn't made for the weak, like your mom, or you. Cyberspace doesn't need to be what you've made it. And Cody approved it! Nonsense! A parasitic cyberspace filled with trees proves nothing. You think trees would have healed your mom? Made her stop looking for Ren? <laughs> Nasty. I'm an efficient, so hurry. This... Yeah, but who is cyberspace for? The competent, I mean, the responsible citizens of Neo Berlin. You mean it's for people to use, and for you to abuse. Did Ren teach you this jingle? What nonsense. But it's so his style. Always going around with his platitudes and his clever little side projects, thinking he's so insightful, as if only he is competent enough to see. Um, he bugged again. I should move. A water tank. Not the right thing to do. A bunch of junk. Selling rocket soda. I can't go over there. Wrong choice. It's time for you to go, Pumpkin. Oh, can't I stay with you? You know the effects of cyberspace. You already look pale. 
What about you? I'm not sure. With my memory gone, I'm not even sure, well, that I don't exist only here, you know? He... I'm sorry for your friend. Can't he fix him? I'm afraid his memory's fried. Even if I rebuild him, he won't remember you. I guess I knew that. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry I couldn't stop the mayor from coming after you. It's all right. So, you got to see it unfiltered. What? The virus. I mean, Encodia. So it worked? Oh, it absolutely did. What did it do? I mean, what did it do to cyberspace? It filled it with joy. Natural, pure joy. It reminded people of who we can be, and gave us a longing to, well, live. Well, I guess I should go home now. Goodbye, kid. Take care of yourself out there. Sure thing. My Sam. The damage in cyberspace was too much for his artificial brain. They look very happy. I guess Encodia is working. They look very happy. I guess Encodia is... They look very happy. I guess Encodia is working. It's done. It worked. At terrible cost. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Sam! Is he... As good as old, Pumpkin. Good morning, Tina. I have kept a cup of hot chocolate warm for you. Would you like to drink it now? 